Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to FS13. Let's just start a career to get rid of the music. We go to Westbridge Hills. Now we can relax because with the music it could always be a copyright issue and if we are fast then it's okay if it's only a few seconds. So yeah, uh, we have already visited FS11 a while ago because I make something like a nostalgia tour before the release of FS25 and now we are here at FS13 uh, and I haven't played FS13 before I just made a video in the European map for my German audience and I've never been to Westbridge Hills and I know we have a map out there in 22 uh, which is a conversion of this Westbridge Hills but I haven't played on it so this will be completely new to me and but what I um, saw on the German map or the European map is that FS13 uh, is a big advancement to FS11 and it's somehow it's an awesome game and I understand that a lot of people were very very excited um, then to play FS13 and started modding and were very into this game and loved this game such a lot. So now let's explore Westbridge Hills and I'm sorry that I have a German version. I couldn't change the language, but I think the images, the impression is most important and it's not so important uh, that you are able to read what you, what is written there. And let's, let's just have a look at this farmhouse. Isn't it awesome? And all the other things and big combines and huge tractors. So, ah, here we are already. Fantastic, fantastic. So, let's just explore it. It is nice. Wow. It's really lovely. If I wouldn't have built the house of DJ Goham as for my American farm building spec, I think I could have taken this as an inspiration for an American house. Maybe I will still do this not early in the FS25 game, but maybe a little later because this is so nice and imagine to have this house as a walk-in farmhouse with color choice oh and we have a sofa <laughs> terrible ugly sofa <laughs> And here we could enjoy a grill evening. This is nice. And can we jump on this? Yes, we can jump. Oh, this is a very nice house. The, the European house is also very, very nice. It's in timber frame. And here, I like this, this windmill. Hmm. Hmm. We should, or maybe I should <laughs> find it in the game and then make new textures for it and bring it to FS25 because it's beautiful. It's nicer than the other ones from FS19, for example. Ah, and this 
seems to be a pump. It is fantastic. Ah, and here we have a combine. It's a German brand. But nevertheless, and what I found out when visiting the shop, this is a combine from the 60s. And so we, we just start harvesting here and then I let the helper work. And then I can tell you what that means to me that it is a combine from the 60s. Uh, that means it's the 60s of the last century and the last uh, millennia. <laughs> and this is the century, uh, the decade where I was a little kid. I was born in 62 and so I have lived through the 60s, most of it. And I remember when my parents were talking about this very modern machinery called Midrescher um, Combine Harvester and that it is as big as a house and we were living in a very small town and in, at the edge of the town. So those modern combine harvesters were driving through our road to their fields and therefore sometimes it happened that the combines were driving along where we lived in, in the house. And that's when they spoke about Ah, this very, very modern machines that are as big as houses. And it could have been one of those. I don't remember. I only remember the talk of this. Um, somehow uh, I was too late to watch it. Or I just don't remember it seeing this machine. It was from above. We were living in, I guess, in the third floor or so. And, but I remember how they talked about this very, very huge and modern machinery. Such a machine. They were state of the art when I was a little kid. I find this very cute somehow. So, let's jump out and explore the the farm a little bit further. We have started there. And I know he is waiting now, but he can wait a little bit until uh, we stumble across a tractor. And look at this very, very nice barn. I wonder whether we can go inside and use it. But I guess it's just decorative. What a pity! It's so nice. Uh, but anyhow, it's a little bit too small. But it's nice. I really like it. It's so old fashioned. Yeah, just decorative. And this also, and I also like it a lot. I think even if you would bring this to FS25, you couldn't use it because it's too small. But if you make it much bigger, <laughs> then you could drive inside with your tractor. And maybe you could have a production here. All your production stuff. Hmm. Okay, let's go on. Ah, the well. With the fake water. Very good. And we still have this fake water texture in FS22. And it's still used for things like that. So this is not the water texture that is used for rivers and lakes, but for such wells. 
And I must admit this well is very very nice. I wanted to build a well like that for my water pack. I won't do it in in the first version of this pack, but for later versions. Because I don't want to make so as so big packs in the beginning because then the testing takes so much time then they can find more errors and then I have get more reviews and I have to be tested twice or th three times and therefore I start with small packs and then grow them over time and I want to make a similar well yeah this is really nice if the texture would be a little bit more modern, you could just take it as it is. So, ah, and there I see the chicken coop. And we already have a rooster who is making a lot of noise. Can we jump down here? Yes, I think so. And we can buy the the female chicken at the dealership. Maybe we'll do this later. And here, look, 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 look. This is very nice too. Ooh. Closed, decorative. But we have such a lot of place, therefore <laughs> they thought, oh, we can we can just put some decorative buildings and we still have it even in how oh, is it in 22 not as bad because you can drive into this nice barn but it's pretty much useless because it's too small this red barn on Elm Creek and in FS19 it was really bad with the only decorative buildings that were the nicest buildings on the farm more or less. So we had a um, wonderful barn in Ravenport and a very very nice traditional barn in... Oh, okay so we get um, we get contract here they call us for a contract with only very little time and I will say no to all of them because I need a front loader and I need to hurry I don't know where everything is and therefore I just say no but I think it's such a nice feature I like it and for people who don't like to be called in the middle of their work or their talk um, it would be nice to just switch it off so this is very nice and yeah I have a question for you about this because I'm just working on my American farm buildings pack and the farmhouse that I built will be a walk-in farmhouse that got its inspiration from DJ Goham's former house where he used to live a few years ago and he sent me the floor plan and so and so forth and other than that I will use my American barn this red building where you have color choice um, and with um, bale storage if you so wish on in the in the second floor and then there is this very old run down barn that is a little bit too small but you can buy it in the base game and I made it a little bit bigger for my American farm buildings pack for FS22 and this I will make completely new I will build it new and make it big enough that a combine harvester can go enter into the center so it it looks a little bit like that 
but this is very modern and the other one is very old and what I will make it will look new but old-fashioned and the main gate will be big enough for a small combine and the side gates will be big enough for a normal tractor and other than that I was asking myself what kind of farm buildings should I put into this pack for the beginning later I can put more and more all kinds of stuff but what I'm wondering is whether I should take some inspiration of those buildings here this has this side uh, building for example that makes it rather different to to the others but maybe the, this side building with a bigger entrance uh, that you can go there with the tractor and usable and here we there is just another one of those but this is usable this is open oh only a little bit this is the selling station for hay and straw but it's nice isn't it no, they are not exactly the same but rather similar yeah, I could put, build something like that, completely usable. And what do we have here? Oh, this looks very nice too. Oh, just decorative. Cute, cute. Yeah. So now it's the best time to speak about your wishes. And here we have those concrete um, silos, but I think they're also just decorative. And this will be the selling station for seats and such, I guess. Yeah, they look only decorative. And those are the real ones. And they are one silo for each type of grain. Like it is in the real world. No multi-fruit silo. And here we have the tractors. We will come back to this. First, we look at the rest of our farm. Here, this is not just decorative. This is huge. Wow, completely different style. More modern and huge. Big enough for your big combine. And those here also very big. And here we have the potato and sugar beet storage, I guess. Yeah, and here with a conveyor belt to get them. So you put them here and then if you need them to sell them you can go to the other side with your trailer and get them and here ah yeah this is for fertilizer very very nice so let's have a look at the machinery Now we have three tractors, a Bührer, and oh, a farm all. Look, look, look! I had such uh, such a tractor as a mod, and I really liked it in FS22. I used it quite a lot, and it's nice. And another Bührer. 
this one is a 6135 and the other one the same okay a trailer sewing machine cultivator and a plow you have everything you definitely need so let's just get the grain from the harvest okay where are we I think maybe over there somewhere And have you seen? Uh, we can't see it very well now. Maybe later when we have a better look at it. There are so interesting mountains and rocks. Oh, and they are all around. I think I would have liked to play FS13 as a real game. So I only started playing Farm Sim uh, with FS17 and only in the last year of FS17. And the first Farm Sim I where, uh, that I started when it was uh, freshly released was FS19. And therefore, everything below 17 seems old-fashioned to me, but I like it. And last time, before the release of FS22, I played FS15 for the first time. And I really, really liked it. I was impressed and I had a lot of fun. And last week with FS11, it was more like, oh, I don't feel so at home there. It was not so much fun. I was a little bit impressed. I liked the map, but the um, feeling how to drive and play was more like very strange and old. But now here with FS13, I could imagine to play it for months and years. So I won't, because FS25 is around the corner. But when someone says to me, Oh, I played FS13 for 10,000 hours, I can easily understand it. And I like both of the maps from the base game so far. So I haven't seen a lot from... Maybe we just go a little bit more on a, on a height because I want to have a look at this mountainous thing that looks so impressive. Look there! I think this is a really nice map. So let's just check out the map. Um, here we get a small overview oh the dealership is not so far away which is good and the selling stations are a little bit further away oh and we have green selling stations and yellow ones hmm and Oh, below is the cow barn somehow. And we only own one field. That is a big difference to, to FS11. I think in FS11 we owned all the fields and now we only own one. And we can buy new ones. And oh, let's go to a smaller field. In the center of the fields, we have this um, the sign how to buy it, but this is rather far away. So, what I want to do 
is I want to sell this, have a look at the dealership, buy some chicken, um, just to have a look at how it is to have more chicken, and then maybe have a look at the town, if there is any. So we can sell it at the restaurant and it at the train station. And I don't know where everything is, but, but, what? Yeah, we have new crop types, so which what we s already saw. We have the same in uh, like FS11, like wheat, barley, canola, and corn. And, and on top we have potatoes and sugar beets. They are new, and we saw the storage for those. Oh, and I like those mountains. Could this be close to the Rocky Mountains? Do you maybe know where this Westbridge Hills is located? Oh, and I could put my steering on my mouse. So Usually I always steal with um, the right mouse button pressed. And yeah, like that I can steer rather good, <laughs> better than uh, with the keyboard and better with the um, controller. And now I'm really happy that that was possible here. So, here we are at the dealership, and we can't sell our stuff here, obviously, but we can have a look. So, oh, here we see all the brands. This is awesome. Yeah. So we have, in, for the European brands, we have Same, Far and Deutz. And now they are all together. First it was Deutz Farm. They came together and then they came together with Same, an Italian brand. And they are one enterprise now. And we have Lamborghini in the base game. And here, this one. Um, I have seen this dealership on a, quite a lot of maps, I think in FS19 may, mainly. And I was always wondering from where they got this um, paper models of the big machines. And this interesting shape of the dealership. Now I know. So here we can see all the tractors. And those are the smaller ones. And we have, uh, we don't have the Kramer, but on the German map we have the Kramer. Here is one Same, this Italian brand. And here is the Bura that we have. And then we have the Austrian Lindner and Deutz. We have quite a lot of Deutz. And then here we have the Lamborghini. But it's a small one. Maybe you know the Lamborghini from uh, Clarkson's farm. Uh, this is a more modern Lamborghini. And this here in this FS13 is a small version, very small, just 110 horsepower, and it looks rather smallish, but the one from Clarkson is very, very stylish, and we had it as a mod, I think, in FS22. And the Hurleyman, they belong together, the Hurleyman and Lamborghini, and they look really similar here. 
En Deutz, 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 Schlüter is a famous German um, tractor brand and we don't have it anymore. But then this time uh, it has been in farm cinema and such a lot of Deutz. And here now comes the big case and two of them, the quad track with the tracks and with the wheels, but the same tractor. And then we have the farm all, what we have on the farm. And a more normal case, a Puma and a Magnum. Oh, this is quite big already. So quite a lot of case. And then we have front loaders, harvesters, this small from far. It's very cheap. It costs only 32,000 bucks, but it's really, really old and small. And here it's bigger, a Deutz one. And then potato harvest and sugar beet harvest, some trailers and loading wagons. Oh, and this is um, a dolly, dolly thingy. Yeah, so with this we have it in the base game too, I think. An adapter. And a combine? No, 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 cultivator. And here we see we have much more machinery, much, much more than in FS2011 FS and much more brands. And therefore they split this um, appliances um, section into the sections, the categories that we know. So, so the the trailers and the cultivators, the plows, and the sewing machines, fertilizer sprayer. Oh, and we already have those Amazon uh, fertilizer spreader. This has a working width of 18 meter and this 36 meters already. This is awesome. The sprayers and mowing machines, mower. Oh, this is a self-propelled. Oh no, how cute! A self-propelled mower. Is this cute? Like you have in your garden. And it's cheap. This is really cute. Yeah, so all kinds of stuff. And they have the, the loading wagon over here in a separate category. Yeah. And then I think we get the animals also. And the cows have been much cheaper. In FS11 it was 25,000 bucks for a cow, which is much too much. I think maybe 2000 is a little bit on the cheaper side, but it's closer to reality. And we get a chicken, which I think it's quite expensive, but nevertheless we will buy some. And then when we are back home we can enjoy our chicken. So, several. Okay. Another contract? No, sorry. Don't have the time. And... Wow, oh, look! Look, this all oh, this mountains that... They are impressive. So can I climb somewhere to have a better view? Oh, I like those mountain scenarios. This is awesome. And here we have a little house. Maybe we just go over there.
Maybe it's just a house. A decorative house, but it's nice. Oh yeah, it's a cute house. Oh yes. And not too small. Oh, and another trampoline. Yeah, so I guess this house was... First it was started small and then they built another part of the building to this and then another one and another one. It looks somehow like pieced together but that makes it so somehow so cute in a way okay i think there is so much to discover here that we make a second part and i want to oh look those poplars Maybe those are the first models of the poplars that I liked so much in FS17. They had very nice poplars then. So, uh, I was speaking about the next part. Um, I think I will search for something like a village and then we will sell our stuff and then we will enjoy the chicken and just explore the map further. Yeah, and I I think it is worth to have another episode here. And look, 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 those flowers. They are nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's a fantastic game, I would say. Yeah. Tell me, what do you think about this FS13? Have you played it then? Um, it is more than 10 years ago. Yeah, have you played it or are you newer to the game and uh, you are just wondering how this ancient game was like I do? Tell me what you think of FS13. Okay, I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.